The Starmish range of portable vacuums are one of the most versatile uh, vacuum cleaners in the market. So they're, they're built to different levels of um, dust extraction classifications. So if you're dealing with uh, hazardous levels of dust, uh, you just find the machine with the right, the right level of filtration that you need, LMH for example, um, and, and away you go. So you can actually use these machines for sucking up dry dust, sucking up liquids, uh, bulk water out of uh, ponds ta or, or tanks for example. Um, if you're looking at uh, in a small workshop, or, or for example, if you're looking at cleaning around equipment, so machinery, if you need to get around um, hard to reach places, there's a whole array of tools you can adapt to, thanks to the, to the actual variable speed control on the handle. So you can actually go ahead and, and attach many different little accessories where you can get over, in and under. Um, the hose is, is quite long, you can extend the hose up to, I'd say on, on a machine like this here with a 38 millimeter hose, looking at about 10 meters, 12 meters tops, uh, in a single length of hose, which is easily adaptable to here. Um, if you're a tradesperson and you're going to be taking the machine on site, uh, it's easy enough for you to just carry it around. It has that the snap-on toolbox storage facility. You click containers where you can just stack up all your accessories on there as well. Um, it's ready to go with uh, HO7 rubber. Uh, that's an oil, oil resistant and water resistant heavy duty cable. Um, so if you need to use it inside a workshop, for example, um, you can go ahead and, and attach your trolley handle and just wheel it around, put it on backwards, attach your trolley handle, wheel it around to wherever you need to, to do, and go ahead and use your bulk floor cleaning uh, tools with, which of course uh, you can look at putting squeegee heads on here or, or bristles um, on there as well, look at like, like actually extending the poles, so if you have high access you want to be able to reach, you can change this over to aluminium or even go you know, two or three more metal rods with a couple of uh, brushes on there and actually clean pipes and overhead uh, vents with the machine as well. Like I said, you have access of about 10 meters comfortably with a 1600 watt motor that it comes with. Um, when you're looking at uh, a supportable unit and you need to move it from side to side, take the handle off and you've got something that you take the hose off and you have your little bung in the front there, you can just close it up so you're not going to have dust that's been out, spilling out all over the place. Uh, so, the other thing can be used for as well is, of course, grinding, um, sanding. So if you're doing um, restorations to vehicles or floor restorations or even when it comes down to doing home renovations or professional wall sanding equipment. So this can all be attached to the machine directly. Uh, of course, it has a little port in the front here for your power tool that can handle about 1200 watts power tool. And uh, the machine has got variable different settings on the front of the, of the unit where you can adjust it to have either the machine running non-stop uh, or you can have it on and off with a remote control with the switch on the trigger of the power tool um, to clean the machine out. If you're sucking up liquids, all the liquids go into this tank. Most machines have got a big filter that sits inside the drum which actually reduces the capacity and of course the airflow, the filter gets quite dirty. This here is a double lined tank. If the tank ever gets damaged or punctured from the outside because it falls off the back of the U for example, uh, the inside usually remains intact so you're not going to lose the, integri the integrity of the, of the suction or the vacuum cleaner. Um, so as the water level rises you take the, the motor top off, tip it out uh, and as the water level rises it has these two little electrodes so as the water rises, it'll come up, it'll make contact with that, turn the machine off. And then of course, if you need to clean the filters, uh, the, machine, this, the H class Star Mix will clean the filters automatically, only as it needs to. So whereas other machines and other versions will clean, will clean when you turn the power tool on and off, or it'll clean um, uh, at a, every 30 seconds or every sort of minute, depending on how you set the machine. The H-Class version will only clean as it, as, as it requires, um, it, as it senses that the airflow is lost. So if you're looking to clean warehouses, workshops, um, small, small sort of printers, 3D printing equipment, uh, museums, galleries, uh, fine dust extraction, coarse dust extraction, nuts, bolts, cleaner in the workshops, um, pallet racks for example, set the machine at the end of the racking, get yourself a 10 meter hose, you can go ahead and clean all, all your shelves and bays, forklifts, um, you know, we've sold this machine for, for numerous different applications and of course we can modify and change the hose fittings and accessories so you can able to, you'll be able to, to get into hard to reach places, we're using 
a whole array of different accessories and tools. Uh, so there's like a little brush you can attach onto it and go ahead and clean all your shelves with it as well. Put a rod into that and clean walls with it as also. And of course the machine can be used bagless, so all the dust goes into the canister and you tip it out. If you're dealing with fine dust that's, that's hazardous, then you want to use your fleece bags, uh, which the dust is just contained inside uh, the bag itself.